Good afternoon, Dr. Wharton. We are so honoured to have you. Thank you for taking the time. I should say I'm delighted to be here and honoured to have met the Prime Minister again today, but for me, Astana is like a second home now. Dr. Wharton, as we all know, uh, Nazarbayev University has launched its foundation programme with partnership with UCL in September last year. Mm. How did the first year go? I'm very pleased. 482 students have worked and have learned new ways of thinking because while Kazakh education is very good, there are two areas where we can bring something new. One is encouraging young people to think in new ways, much more critical thinking, creative thinking, problem-based approaches to learning, inquiry-led ways of learning. And also the other thing that we wanted to do, even in the foundation year, was really to encourage young people to try out laboratory work, to understand what it's like to make an experiment, to make things together in teams, making gliders that will fly at least 10 yards. Everyone excited about the School of Engineering, yeah. which is due to open its doors uh, in August this year. That's right. And UCL is a major partner That's in this again. project. Yeah. Yeah. So could you please elaborate more on this project? One of the things we felt we wanted to do was to look very hard at what the needs of Kazakhstan were. So we spoke a lot with industry, with business. We looked at the future of the, if you like, natural resources, how they were going to be managed in Kazakhstan. And then we looked at the global economy, what were the needs of engineering. And rather than simply bringing what we do in UCL, we've done something better. We're actually bringing a completely new program, which is what the Dean wishes we had in London. <laughs> which is a new way of looking at engineering, whereby the students will learn from a very early stage how actually to do projects. They won't just get the theory, they will actually be doing real things, working in internships, so working very hard with applications of engineering rather than simply learning about it. So what we want to do is to create students who are much more challenging, and also we don't just want to create the best civil engineers or the best chemical engineers or the best electronic engineers or whatever. We want to create leaders who are making the decisions which good civil engineers will then carry out. So it's about leadership for Kazakhstan. What about the standards? Are they going to remain the same? Oh, yes, absolutely. The standards must be world class. It has taken us a long time to get to be number four in the world. And we want to maintain that and we want to bring those high standards here and all of our quality assurance processes to the Nazarbayev University. Sir, so UCL as a partner probably done several feasibility studies assessing Kazakhstan's education system. Uh, what are the major results of these feasibility studies and what would you recommend? Well, I'm very impressed by um, the educational system in Kazakhstan. I had many, many long conversations with the previous minister, Minister Jimmy Bayev. I've had discussions with the current minister. Um, I knew him when he was rector of Kazgu. I've seen the, the future plan of the Ministry of Education and was asked to comment on it. And I think there are many, many strengths in the system. But I think we do need to bring more sense of critical thinking into the way that the young people um, are actually going about their, their studying and I think that we can take what is an excellent learning environment that, that there is potentially in, in Kazakhstan and make it into something which is much more fit for purpose for a very complex globalized 21st century. I would just add one thing. One of the reasons we are here, the vision of President Nazarbayev and of all of his team is wonderful and we are very excited by that. But because we've been receiving so many Kazakhstani students over the past several years to London, to UCL in London, we realise that these are clever students, hard-working students, and very intelligent students, but also, and this is not a joke, this is really serious, they know how to have fun. We need young people who are very good at their studies, work very hard, contribute to their society, but they need also to have some fun. So thanks so much for your, for your time and for your valuable comments, it's been very helpful.